Hi everyone, this is Aisha Dow from Montessori for Mums and today I want to show you how to make your own sensory bin at home using things that you most probably have lying around at home. Okay, so first you would need a nice container, probably about this size. Um, if you've got two kids and try and have a size that's going to be going to let both your children play at the same time because most of the time if one child's playing then the other wants to play as well and it's nice if, it, if they both play together um, if you if you don't and space is a bit of a problem in your homes then maybe you can have slightly a smaller container um, but preferably something that's got um, a lid so it can store away nicely as well okay so let's see what's inside my bin so basically it's just things that are lying around in the house so I've got rice I've got some dried um, beans, um, some dry kidney beans, some lentils um, and that's it. I've got some shells in there as well because it's got a bit of a texture so it's a nice feeling um, when they play with it and I've got some shiny things as well that kind of you know stand out amongst everything um, and shiny things always attract children as well. So basically that's all I've actually put in here and if you put two three items then it kind of fills the box up quite reasonably. Also you can see I've got some numbers in here you can have numbers or letters and basically it's just, it's just a nice hide and seek game as well because sometimes what you can do is uh, either you could hide the numbers and just tell them to find um, the number four and then they will need to just look around for it or you can just say oh what's this and then you know they would say three or they can hide and you would need to find so it's, it's an interactive game that you, uh, you can play with your child um, and also it develops the language as well. Um, other things that you can use um, also in the sensory bin is um, I like to have something which is heavy as well because it gets them to see something which is light and something which is heavy so they can actually get a get an idea of, of weight so it's indirect numeracy with weight here so maybe just one stone or a couple of stones would be sufficient for them to um, to have in here also um, I'd like I, I, cinnamon sticks I was trying to think of something that they can actually smell um, and cinnamon sticks was the only thing I could kind of come up with it, to them it would think they would think it's a bit of wood from a tree um, but when they smell it they'll they'll realize it smells nice it's, it's cinnamon and maybe you can get them to guess what kind of smell it is if they're slightly older children um, I couldn't really think of anything else um, to put in here so if any of you guys have got any suggestions then please do leave um, a comment in the comment box because I would really like to think of a few other things to put in here that would give them um, to develop their sense of smell because don't forget the sensory box develops their their, their five senses um, at least four of them maybe not the taste but um, at least the the hearing the sight um, the feel and and the smell at least four so another thing a toy just something that can just kind of um, play around with use their imagination make a story so um, it you know for a girl it could be my little pony or a little doll for boys it could be little cars dinosaurs animals anything anything small that you've got lying around in the house that you could have also they will need some spoons or something to scoop um, the beads up in so spoon whatever you've got um, you can use small scoops big scoop so again it's your indirect numeracy saying how much which one's holding the most is it this one or this one um, and also when they're scooping then you want something for them to be scooping into so you've got to have like a little cup or a bowl um, anything obviously I'm, I'm pretty sure you can come up with loads of ideas yourself as well another thing I got I put in here is these eggs um, I've got all different color ones and basically um, if you fill it up and then you can close them like that it's your sounds so if you had um, two different eggs and just put maybe they can actually distinguish the different sounds this is a bit louder this is a bit lighter so again it's your hearing you know you're developing your, your, your hearing in that as well um a funnel i didn't have a funnel at hand but I, I found this lying around so um again it's it's let's put it in here um it's something they can just use and it will just come out the other end and it's something fun or they can close it up 
scoop here and then just open the lid and it'll go everywhere. Yes, by the way, I do suggest you have a mat when you take out the sensory bin because you will find that the beads, as well as being in the box, will be on your floor everywhere. So if you've got a mat, you can at the end of it just kind of fold the mat up and pull the beans back all into here as, as well. Um, also, I found this lying around. Um, it's one of those tea bag uh, strainers. Um, and again, they can scoop up and then like that. So that's another thing. And um, lastly, I'd like to always have something, some kind of fabric in here because I think it's nice for them to feel something soft. So all different colors um, is, is nice. So that, you know, you can kind of, again, play hide and seek. And don't forget, this also develops your language because you're gonna be talking about different types of texture. So soft, um, hard, uh, smooth, the stone is smooth. So there's lots and lots of language this is going on. You're identifying colors, you're identifying um, size, big, small, um, you're identifying light, heavy. So there's lots and lots of language that actually goes on and there's a lot of indirect literacy and numeracy um, goes on with this sensory box. Um, you will also find that um, it develops their concentration and you will be amazed how long a child can spend at one of these boxes and be engaged in playing with it um, and you know while you get on with something else obviously if you've got little toddlers then you know it needs to be supervised because there's lots of little things um, but do also talk to them about not to put anything into into their mouths as well um, and also you yourself can play with the child so if you sit opposite your child you can both be playing and um, you know just talk to your child about oh what's this what color is this what does it feel like so ask them questions and then you know give them the answer so then next time they can come up with the answer themselves as well um, and that's about it um, every now and then I suggest you kind of change the items you have in here so it doesn't get always boring and then they feel that there's something new so maybe change the toys around change the type of spoons that you use um, and and you know just make it a little bit more interesting if you've got if you've got numbers then maybe use letters in here um, or silver coins or something anything that's just going to make it you know different each time so they think it's a new toy each time um, it comes with the lid so it's a nice store away as well um, and this is it this is my sensory bin so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope um, this really encourages you to make your own sensory bin literally it's it's all stuff you have lying around you don't have to actually go out and buy anything if anything these things are found in the pound shop and it's not really going to cost you that much it doesn't have to be as big as mine it can be a slightly smaller one um, whatever is suitable for you um, um, but please do um, leave comments if you found this this video very interesting and um, also once you have made your sensory bin and um, your child has played with it then please do um, leave a comment just to let us know how how you find it how your child found the bin I would be really really interested in finding out um, these things from you guys so this is it for now until my next video um, I hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you did and um, please subscribe if you haven't already and also share my videos to friends and families thanks for watching until next time bye